Commercial trucks clogging up streets in Brooklyn neighborhoods. It's been a problem for years. And now the state is stepping in. Fox Eye Stephanie Bertini checked out the scene in Diker Heights. Trucks and tractor trailers creating issues in parts of Brooklyn. Our camera caught police towing this commercial vehicle in the middle of the day in Diker Heights. And we saw this one parked with a ticket on its windshield. Really, it's become a huge problem in the community. We've been fighting this for years. New York State Senator Andrew Gennardis says complaints are consistently pouring into his office about commercial vehicles in some Brooklyn residential communities where these vehicles are restricted. According to DOT, a commercial vehicle can't be parked on a residential street between 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. and a commercial vehicle can't be parked for more than three hours in a residential neighborhood, period. In November, the NYPD confirms there was a week-long operation specifically targeting these illegally parked tractor trailers in Brooklyn. Throughout last year, the enforcement numbers paint a picture. The NYPD and Patrol Borough Brooklyn South January 1, 2022 through December 12, 2022 have issued 6,875 summonses for illegally parked tractor trailers until 27 tractor trailers. The NYPD also telling us it appears violators are are moving their vehicles to new locations. The NYPD, DOT, and the city working together, they say, as they continue to monitor the problem. There's no place for these cars to go, these trucks to go. We get that. But that doesn't mean that they can park in our communities, on our blocks, on residential streets. Senator Gonardis says he's working with other leaders to find alternative places for the vehicles to park. He says more enforcement is also a solution in the works and that DOT is especially focusing on problematic areas in Brooklyn. Stephanie Bertini, Fox 5 News.